In this video, we are going to study the liquid injection to lower the discharge temperature in scroll compressors used in freezing applications. Let's remember that liquid injection is a means by which a scroll compressor is protected by cooling it, allowing it to operate reliably under difficult conditions of high compression ratio typically observed in freezing applications at low temperatures. 1. The objective of the liquid injection system is to lower the refrigerant's discharge temperature. 2. A liquid injection device is very important when the discharge temperature exceeds 125 degrees Celsius for certain system applications. 3. The liquid injection system can be implemented with a temperature sensor or thermostat, dosing or capillary, and solenoid valve. 4. The set temperature of the solenoid valve is at 115 degrees Celsius. When the discharge temperature reaches 115 degrees Celsius, the solenoid valve of the circuit will open. 5. The discharge temperature must decrease, for example, to a value of 95 degrees Celsius, then the circuit solenoid will close. 6. If the discharge temperature rises above 125 degrees Celsius, even with the circuit solenoid valve open, the temperature protector must be activated to protect the compressor. 7. Liquid injection at high speeds in scroll compressors with inverter technology shows a considerable improvement in compressor operation and reliability. 8. However, injection at low speeds shows some disadvantages regarding energy, capacity, and adiabatic compressor efficiency. 9. With the activation of the liquid injection system, there is a small increase in energy consumption by the compressor due to the increase in refrigerant mass to be compressed. 10. The system's activation results in sufficient cooling of the discharge gas, allowing for higher compression ratios without risking the compressor. 11. The main objective of liquid injection is to protect the compressor, while vapor injection mainly benefits refrigerant subcooling at the condenser outlet. 12. To achieve liquid injection, the liquid refrigerant pressure must be higher than the pressure of the gaseous refrigerant, which is in communication at the liquid injection port. 13. With another system configuration, liquid injection is achieved by using a discharge temperature control valve, DTC. 14. The DTC valve eliminates the need for a capillary tube, a liquid injection solenoid valve, and a current relay. 15. The DTC valve is equipped with a bulb that must be installed at the top of the compressor cap, detecting the temperature of the discharge port. 16. The DTC valve injects only when cooling is needed and in the required amounts. 17. Some scroll compressor models require injection with a DTC valve along with vapor injection with a valve, EVI, to protect the compressor from higher discharge temperatures. 18. There are scroll compressors that must be equipped with liquid injection using a DTC valve. 19. There are models of scroll compressors for vapor injection only, and liquid injection alone is not possible. 20. There are models of scroll compressors that can be used for both liquid and vapor injection EVI. 21. There are models of scroll compressors with wet vapor injection, meaning a combination of vapor and liquid injection simultaneously.